Hello. Engineering is at its best when problems are solved using innovative solutions. In this video, we're going to look at an ingenious design that has the potential to unlock green hydrogen production. The use of hydrogen is going up not just because it is being considered as a transportation fuel. It is already being used in a lot of industries which include fertilizers, food processing and steel production. The scope for green hydrogen is huge given that more than 95% of the hydrogen produced at present comes from reforming fossil fuels. This results in a high amount of fossil fuel emissions. The global hydrogen demand reached 95 metric tons in 2022, almost 3% more than in 2021. One of the most efficient methods of producing hydrogen is through thermochemical water splitting. There are several different chemical cycles for producing hydrogen. Each cycle uses different metal oxides and catalysts. The chemicals used in the process are reused within each cycle, creating a closed loop that only consumes water and produces hydrogen and oxygen. One of the biggest hurdles in using this method is extremely high temperature requirements. Depending upon the cycle, the temperatures required are anywhere between 500 to 2000 degrees centigrade. Solar concentrators come to mind as the obvious solution. They achieve very high temperatures with sunlight alone. Using them would furnish hydrogen at a bare minimum cost. The optical efficiency of parabolic dish concentrators is very high, that is 78 to 95 percent. There is, however, a problem. A normal solar concentrator tracks the sun as it moves across the sky. It concentrates the solar rays to a focal point. As the concentrator moves, the focal point moves with it. This means that if we are supplying chemicals to a reactor located at that point, then those chemicals would have to be supplied by flexible pipes because the reactor is moving. Pumping extremely hot chemicals of up to 2000 degrees in flexible pipe and rotary swivel joints that remain chemically non-reactive is impractical. Also, the large solid cross-sectional area of the parabolic dish results in high wind load on its structure and limits its size. For this reason, no commercial parabolic dish with a diameter of more than 10 meters is on the market. Another type of solar concentrator that is well known is the heliostat field and solar tower. This technology has a fixed focal point at the top of the tower. It has been successfully implemented for making solar thermal power plants, but it has a very low optical efficiency due to heliostat tracking and deflecting concept. The optical efficiency is just 40 to 60%. Now, this brings us to the solution that will take hydrogen production full steam ahead, literally. Recently, Al Maita developed a high flux solar concentrator that beams down the concentrated sunlight to a focal point close to the ground. The concentrator is composed of nested conical reflective rings resulting in high solar concentrations and temperatures well above 1000 degrees centigrade. Since the focal point is fixed on the ground, then the high temperature and the high pressure heat transfer fluids can easily be conveyed through solid inexpensive pipes to the storage tank sitting at the ground underneath the receiver or next to it. This concentrator has been termed as the Airman Solar Concentrator and its optical efficiency reaches 91%. Furthermore, it allows the wind to flow through its conical rings. The wind load of the ASC is about 10% that of the parabolic dish of the same dimensions. A 10 meter diameter Airman Solar Concentrator has already been developed. Concentrators with diameter of 15 meters and 25 meters are also being considered. Most importantly, it is much less costly to build than a concentrated solar tower plant. The Airman Solar Concentrator is a key development for producing green hydrogen at $1 per kilogram. So, 
what do you think about this exciting new development? Do let me know in the comment section. If you learned something new, then please do consider giving this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to hear about further developments in the field of renewable energy. Thank you for your attention.